All right. So today we are going to start to replace the exhaust on the K100. Um, I got this uh, exhaust system from Cafe 4 Racer over in Europe. Um, it's a two-piece. Really nice welds on this. It's got the, the four into one collector already on it. It's got a nice mount here, um, which should hook up with a bit of, just a small bit of fabrication to one of those bolts under the, um, uh, the helmet hook there. And uh, so this guy's a slip on here. I also have an exhaust clamp, so we'll put that on. But yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So we'll start by, I already kinda got a head start. I'm gonna pull the, the heat shield off. Then we'll get at the um, clamps on each of uh, the exhaust pipes here. And theoretically, we'll pull that off. We'll put this, slip the other one on, get rid of these two, uh, pull these out. Should free the exhaust up. We'll see how much of a hassle these put on. They've been on there for 30 some years and we'll need to pound those out. And uh, we'll see uh, what this looks like when we get it on. It should come up and just have a nice arc um, up over the wheel and really show off the single swing arm of the K100. We have the, uh, the heat shield off. Three, four, four bolts. Uh, I really wanted to get in here and show you the first of these uh, clamps. So it's a five millimeter uh, Allen wrench. And surprisingly, now I did break this loose just a little bit before. I expected a little bit more of a fight, to be honest with you. Um, so that guy's moved out of the way. And I'm hoping I'll get the other three and I have a rubber mallet I'll put here, and I'll, I'm hoping to tap this guy out. We'll see how easy that turns out to be, though. I might have to heat it up and do some wrestling, so I'm prepared to, to do that if, if it comes to it. That took me maybe five minutes. Uh, if that, I am so surprised at how quickly and how effortlessly that came off um, so wow very surprised so the idea is I think I'm gonna try to re-keep these clamps on um, I'm gonna mount slide this other one in and just check the fitment and see how that goes I am curious to see if this is gonna cause me problems it is funny how silly this kind of this looks now without the exhausting before it just all blended in and now it just I don't know looks to me like it sticks out like a sore thumb so i think one of the next things to start to look at is a new rear set here and uh but first things first let's get this guy uh, lined up and see where it where it falls yeah. so far it's going on pretty good you can see got a little bit more to go a little rubber mallet on the ends here on this side the bottom that side is helpful uh, I actually think you know as odd as it sounds this wire stripper just got a nice rubber hand bottom I can split on each side of this diamond shape uh, four into one collector I can just tap on the end of the wire strip and get a nice even push across all four of the exhaust uh, manifold pipes uh, so I'm gonna continue to just gently uh, snug that up. The fitment is coming in nicely. I think I'm gonna need to just fabricate a little uh, piece to connect this guy to this bolt here or there. It's not a rivet, it's actually a, I don't know, like a 10 millimeter nut on the other side of that. So I should be able to hook that in really nicely on the back side for a minimal, uh, minimalist look and give it some added stability, and then we'll put the exhaust pipe on. So, I mean, probably 15 minutes into this, and the job is probably <laughs> hours ahead where I thought I'd be by now. 
here is the completed exhaust installation. Um, I mean, big, big shout out to Cafe Four Racer um, for supplying such a such a well designed exhaust. I mean, total install time. You know, if you don't count the time I just was messing around with getting bolts tightened and lining things up, was I mean, maybe 30 minutes, maybe an hour after it's all said and done. Um, really so surprised at how easy not only the old exhaust came on but how easy this uh, this this exhaust went on uh, they, they provide a nice little hanger here that mounts off the spot for the uh, uh, where the original helmet lock would be that's the only downside I couldn't fit that in with the helmet lock um, I may play with that a little bit maybe mount that hanger in the front to see if I can get their helmet lock back because I really do use that However, now that I'm thinking about it, that helmet would probably hang out right on a very hot exhaust pipe. So it's probably better off that it's not there on second thought. Um, so really, that's awesome. The, once again, Cafe 4 Racer, I'll put a link to the uh, exhaust in the video here. Um, I'll give you a little sound of what it sounds like as well. Definitely has a bit more of a throaty exhaust. Not going to be able to uh, sneak in late at night in the driveway anymore. I'm going to coast it into neutral, but that's great. And the next time we are going to plan on removing this air box here, the factory air box and replacing it with uh, this cold air intake. Now, this uh, is a little smaller than I thought it would be, so I'm actually gonna get a, a larger one, but there's actually a fair amount of changes that need to happen inside there to get that sensor out of here and to mount it, because um, otherwise it, it it will just be you know rattling around and you can't have that. So there's a bit of uh, fabrication to be done there, uh, so. Like, subscribe, stay tuned. That'll be the next project uh, that I'll be tackling. Once again, thanks for checking out the video.